Hello everyone and welcome back to Starkey Farmstead. So my name is Samantha and there are a few things that we really need to talk about. First off, I want all of you to write this down. I need you to look up the regional sustainability plans for your area. Now the way that I found that for Louisiana was I typed in Louisiana regional sustainability plan. What popped up was basically shocking. Okay, so everybody that is on my channel understands about the UN 2030 agenda. Well guys, they have infiltrated every state, every state, every parish, and every town in Louisiana. And if they've done that here, I know they have done it where you are. I was talking to my husband and I told him, there's a bigger reason God sent me to Maui. Yes, at the time, I really was focused on the kids, obviously, and that's a good thing. But there were so many things that God wanted me to learn in Maui and bring it back to Louisiana. One of the things that I learned is they, they, as in Carl Schwab, the World Economic Forum, the United Nations, the Green New Deal, they've got their claws all the way down to the smallest municipalities. And that should scare the dickens out of all of us in the sense that we thought we were awake and we were not. Because this is the first time I'm seeing this information about the sustainability plan for my state. And I'm not in agreement with a lot of it. Not only that, I'm a very active farmer, obviously. I work with a lot of nonprofits and a whole lot of, you know, USDA off, offshoots for different reasons. And one of the things that I'm finding is they are really pushing, really pushing this climate change narrative down the throats of farmers. If you want a grant to work with people, to educate them about farming, then you had better angle it towards climate change or the money isn't coming to you. So basically our government, our federal government has a stranglehold on funds for people who want to be able to get some help to educate the up and coming next generation in farming. So rather than give someone like me funds so that I can teach people how to farm for free for them, it's your tax money. If I don't follow their agenda and talk about their speaking points, I can't apply for that money. Now, I'm really funny about that. I don't let anybody tell me what I can do on my private land, privately owned private land. But if you accept those grants, you just opened up a whole nother can of worms. So for the past year, for the past 11 months, I've not written one federal grant. And this is why. So I'm asking you guys, I know that we are all focused on Maui, obviously. And I know that we are all heartbroken. But the people in Maui would tell you, hey, look, thanks for trying to help us. And thank you for helping us. But please defend your own state. Defend your own town. Too many of us have never, ever been to a city council meeting or even watched it online. Our lives are so busy. That's how they want it. So many, thing to dis so many things to distract us. That's how they want it. That we aren't there to stop this nonsense at the smallest local levels, okay? Something else. <clears throat> Our YouTube channel <laughs> went from 4,200 people to 8,000 people virtually overnight. And then it doubled again. And it is currently ticking higher and higher and higher. And I am so honored and so thankful for each and every one of you. You have no idea. However, I'm going to have to treat it like a job in the sense that it has overtaken my life, okay? which when I was in Maui, that's fine. You guys paid for that trip and it should have. But my son spoke to me from his spirit, from the Holy Spirit today. And what he told me really helped me understand what was going on in my life. He's like, mom, 
when you left from Maui, your garden only needed Stephen to water it every couple of days, right? And I was like, yeah, yeah. It was pretty self-sustainable. He said, why? And I said, well, because God told me to grow food like this, that it would take care of itself. It didn't need me 24 seven. I didn't have to stress during the drought or anything else because I gardened in a way the Holy Spirit told me to. He said, well, you need to ask the Holy Spirit how to run your YouTube channel in the same way. The thing about God is he's not going to give me a gift that is going to destroy me. And I don't know if you guys have ever had 21,000 people trying to catch your attention, but it cuts into the time that should be allotted for my family, especially my husband. So I was going to do a live today for just the people who are members. And that's not to punish the subscribers. That's not what I'm talking about. Some of those were, are going to be moderators for the channel. And they're going to help me make sure that your comments are seen and responded to. I want you to feel like you're being heard. I want my platform to be a place where you can come to with your questions. I really do. But I am one person and I cannot do it alone. So I will be setting up moderators. I am not going to be able to make that meeting today at five that I had talked to the ladies about yesterday solely because I'm tired. I just brought my son back to the airport in New Orleans to go back to Tampa. The next time that I see him will be in January of 2024. Um, I've only been home from Maui for like six days. I'm still just really starting to catch up on my sleep. We run the children's church. We sit on the 4-H advisory board. I'm right in the middle of setting up a women's agricultural group for my region of Louisiana. I am in a scholarship that still has a year and a half to go. And October 7th, my husband and I are doing a keynote speech for LSU. I've got a lot on my plate, you guys, and I don't mind. I'm all about it. Come on, God, you gave it to me, we can do it. But everything has to have an allotted time slot or I will be overtaken. So my father built this channel. He built this YouTube channel. Therefore, I'm gonna rely on the Holy Spirit to help me keep it growing. If the Holy Spirit's involved, it'll grow. And if I have to be the one to hold it together and I have to be there every second to make it stay together, it was never from God. So I'm telling you this because you're gonna see a little bit of less videos going out. You're gonna see me go back so to So what you'll rhythm. see is me going back to the regular rhythm of the channel. Now, some days you might get three videos, but they're not all gonna be about Maui. I hope you guys stay around. I hope you understand if you'll look back, if you go to my Starkey Formstead homepage and hit videos, there are hundreds of videos on every topic that you literally can imagine. I hope that you invest some time into those older videos. They could really help you begin preparing for what is coming. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to join our membership. That's just going to help me see your comments a little better. And when I do lives that are just for members, you'll be in that group. It's also a way to help support us when they decide not to monetize a video because they don't like the topic I'm talking about. I've also had two videos that were basically taken down and a couple that have simply not been monetized because, well, I irritated the people to be. So God bless you guys. I really appreciate you rowing in my boat and letting me row in yours. But it's about time for me to get back to a little bit of normalcy for my mental health, for my spiritual health, but also for the sake of my family. Thank you for understanding and God bless you.